Shalom, I'm going to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahshai Bashim, Rukhak Wadash, the wives of the apostles and elders, at Great Mosul, we will, peace and blessings and salutation to the elect. Let's push this word. Um, real quick, I'm going to do uh, not a long video, but basically a comment I left on uh, this individual's page two weeks ago. It's around the day of Christmas, and uh, his video was entitled Christmas is not pagan. I say yes, it's yes, it's pagan. And so called Jesus was born during Passover, not December twenty first. Stop the lies and me and this guy had a little chat and he eventually he deleted one comment. He 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 was learning under um, Great Millstone's doctrine for a minute, but he under he said he and um, he said he had basically. A, so many words in epiphany that it was not the true doctrine or whatever you know the case you know how individuals they get bugged out and just get marked or whatever have you um i told him jeremiah 10 is wicked you know read it he told me jeremiah 10 that uh, that is speaking of an idol card with a mouth so that doesn't make any sense this guy is uh out of his mind he was ignorant to the script breakdowns of the scriptures man and i do this here and there when i see different stuff that's you know probably you know the, the video most likely is like relevant to the time like it is uploaded the same day or same week i might leave a comment or whatever and he but this guy said uh idol idol uh, idols card with the mouse so what the hell is he talking about Anyways, it says some Israelites were scared, scared of them, but the Most High say, "Don't be scared. They cannot speak. And they cannot walk. People don't expect Christmas trees to walk or talk, but they might. They might a demonic idol that card. Yeah. So, God. Okay. So I had to cut into him. Told him I told him the news is coming. The chip is coming. He says from Russia, but love from Russia, but he, and, but an hour ago he sent me a video saying he debunked the Hebrew Israelites. Now I'm going to play it, but uh, I'm going to give the scripture real quick before I go into it. I, I, of course, I commented back with scripture. Um, let's get the first scripture, Second Corinthians. And you just, it, just, it shines a light on the ignorance of the people of this world. They don't have the truth. And a lot of them aren't sincere. They're disingenuous. They don't really want to know a solution. They want to figure out something that sounds cool to them, to, for them to believe in. The truth is bitter. The truth is sweet. So it, the Lord chooses who he wants that he knows is going to do well with his knowledge and his, his wisdom. Okay, majority of people are, and this guy is most like an Edomite, so he, uh, he's going to be fit for destruction, and is going into slavery, okay, this is a revelation, uh, no, this is Second Corinthians 13 and 8, for we can do nothing against the truth before the truth, come on, all right, nothing you can do, or say, or type, it's going to stop the Lord from sealing his elect and getting the understanding and wisdom and knowledge to the elect. Okay, now I'm going to play the video that this joker, I guess he made it for me, I don't know what the hell, but there's no debunking, nothing that's solid, that's solid truth, that's written in stone. There's no debunking the undebunkable. Un Okay, I'm going to play this.
see that? See that shit? Got a real Jew, Chris Rock, so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. Did not know Adam Sandler could be a Jake. Who know, who knows right now? But hey, this guy's completely fucking stir fried crazy. Blasphemy, man. The Lord look when the disciples look like Edomites. Get the fuck out of here, man. Seriously. Alright, so, I don't know what you're trying to prove, but you're not debunking nothing, buddy. You know, bud, you're not debunking anything over here, man. Okay? Men of the Lord at Great Most don't have the truth, starting with our apostles and elders. I don't know how many times we got to keep telling you people this. Okay? Book of Job 9 and 24, and it, it <clears throat> the book of Job 9 and 24, and it reads, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who is the wicked? Who are the wicked? The Edomites, the nation of Edom. Edomites, period. They are the wicked. They are the devil on the planet Earth. They're the vessels for discretion. They're the uh, Destruction, 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 unprofitable, unsavable, unredeem, unredeemable, unsavable. They don't have a place of repentance. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, just like the compilation, the slideshow. All the faces is covered of the judges and looking like Edomites. Okay, that's a heavy, heavy laden iniquity uh, uh, that has been put here on the planet earth that vibration has destroyed our people okay that's why you're wicked the lord you got to, you're gonna have to pay for that you edomites it says if not where and who is he that's talking about how these devils are uh these devils are devils well indeed they are Revelation, uh, Revelation one and one, the revelation of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which the Most High gave unto him to shew this to unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. He sent and signified it in, in by, by his angels unto his servant John. Okay, I'm gonna jump to thirteen. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed like a garment. With the garment down to the foot and curve about the path with the golden girl. So that's given given uh, attributes of the Lord. Um, the best as the Lord uh, wanted, wanted us to know. As much information on how the appearance of the Lord will be. He's going to reveal. He revealed it. To the spirit and power of the Lord. His head and his hair were white like wool as white as snow and his eyes were as flame of fire so this is pretty much um, Israelite 101 pre uh, base, uh, basic scripture so it's here is describing the Lord being a so called black man why? because his hair is like wool his hair is white meaning gray okay nappy alright it's pretty simple pretty basic uh, Christians are gonna uh, agree with this but that's why they're Christians because they're wicked uh, it says and his feet like unto this uh, like un like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Okay. So that's pretty common basic knowledge. Uh, it should be here, um, but if you can't see that, it's because you're racist. No, <laughs> well, 
that too, but it's because you don't have the full understanding and you don't have a high enough IQ. So if his feet, his, if his feet are, are brass, fine brass, burnt brass, then that's exactly how the rest of his body is going to look. Okay, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Verse 16, he says, he had, he had in his right hand seven stars and out of his mouth went to a sharp, uh, a sharp two-edged sword and his countenance was as the sun shining in his, in his strength. All right, so next precept I'm going to get is Isaiah 8 and 20. Precept of that, Isaiah 8 and 20. It's not going to be long, I saw. I pretty much had, but... This is, says to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So it's talking about all this trying to show show people the debunk the Israelites about I guess he's trying to say there's different Jews, Sephardic Jews, Ethiopian Jews. They're all converted. They're not Jews according to the bloodline, to their gene genealogy. Ashkenazis, they're not uh, Israelites according to the bloodline. They don't have a covenant for them. Their their whole being, their whole nation is fitting, fitting for destruction. It's already spoken about. All right. And that's why these quote-unquote people with these different wayward falsehoods of doctrine, they're confused, they're, they're confused people. They can't tell you what's about to happen. They can't tell you what's happening after this life that's finna get that that this world that's when this world here gets destroyed this this time what's gonna happen and how and what's gonna be happening they can't tell you none of that man because they don't have no knowledge they don't speak according to the word the lord has to set you up and be ordained okay that's like the men of the lord men of the great millstone Starting with apostles and elders, man. I'm just thank the Lord that I can get the knowledge that I could get before, before, um, before the uh, the full out the all out destruction comes. Okay, John four twenty two. You worship, you know not what you don't know what you're talking about. Debunking you debunk how you debunking the Holy Spirit how you debunking <laughs> men that was preordained uh, from before they was born quote unquote doctrine black Hebrew first of all you calling us black nobody black nobody white nobody's a color it's a fairy tale world you people live in by categorizing categorizing yourself as a color man it's foolish. You know, it's falsehoods. He says that you know, you worship, you know not what we know. What we worship, we do. For the salvation is for the Jews, the real Jews, dwelling in the ghettos. Okay. From the twelve tribes of Israel, those are the real Jews. Okay. How you want to promise? You want to promise? You want the Lord to give you a promise and a covenant? And all the things that comes along with the kingdom, but you're not you don't fit nothing that the Lord said the Jews would be or what they would be doing. Okay. That your people would be doing. That you what your people did in the past time, it don't add up. But the hour cometh and now is when the true speakers or slack it was true too. <laughs> it's true. The true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seek, uh, seeketh such to worship him. You're supposed to worship Yahweh Shai too. Okay? The Most High, God is a spirit, and that they worship that worship him, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. Con. Okay? I got one more. So this guy's completely bugged out. Completely bugged out. Second Ezra, five, uh, Second Ezra 6 and 56. As for the other people which also come out of Adam, thou hast said they are are like they are nothing. They that they are nothing but but be unto unto spittle, and hast likened the abundance of them 
unto a drop that have that falleth from vessel. So, look, man. So, you, us, the Israelites, all right, but more specifically, the elect, we're right now in the best position to be to receive salvation. But as a nation, anybody who's not an Israelite, you're not favored with the Lord. You're not highly favored with the Lord. You're considered the Lord as a disgusting individual. He made you to be nothing. He made you to be disgusting. Okay, he made you. To, he made you to. It's like vitamin. So a shake or so, or like a drink, uh, tea. It might taste like with herbs in it. You know, it might taste really bitter or really nasty for consumption, but it does. It serves its purpose. Edomites, you know, the nations serve y'all purpose. Y'all done serving y'all purpose. Y'all going into slavery. Period. They don't. It. It. it hey. It get deep for us, but for y'all, it don't get deep because you going your ass into slavery, to bondage. Just like y'all had us in. It's simple. And we ain't going, hey, when, when it comes down to it, we ain't going back and forth with you about the scriptures. It's going to be time to get busy. And then you're just going to hop your ass back into, sla or into slavery. You know, there ain't going to be nothing else to say. All right. Lord will is edifying him, give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Shabbat, 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 Kadash, the Lawrence of the Apostles, Elders, that great millstone, rule well, Shalom.